Ladies and gentlemen, many of you that have been following my stories on student loans know that Joe Biden wants to cancel $10,000 per loan for students around this country. Well, there are many people that are very upset. They're saying the $10,000 is way too small and either, you know, give 50 or don't offer anything at all at this point, because a lot of people said that 10 will not even put a dent in anything. Well, unfortunately, the U.S. government is not trying to help you get out of debt. That's why he offered you that little amount. He doesn't care that it's not enough. And, and I think many of them do know, these politicians know that is not enough and it doesn't go far enough, but they simply don't care. So right now you got tens of millions of Americans that are waiting for the administration to get around to defining their student loan debt cancellation plan most recently, the White House reported leaning towards the cancellation of $10,000 per borrower. So uh, the Senate and top Democrats, Chuck Schumer of New York and Elizabeth Warren, have been pushing to forgive $50,000 for all. And that's what a lot of people really want. The NAACP has also uh, expressed that $10,000 wouldn't go nearly far enough for Black student loan borrowers who carry an average balance of more than $50,000 a few years after graduating. Wisdom Cole, a national director of the Association of Youth and College Division, recently said on Twitter that nixing just $10,000 would be a slap in the face. At the same time, the idea of student loan debt forgiveness infuriates many Americans, including those who never borrowed for their education or went to college. Some Republicans said they would try to block an effort by the president to cancel the debt. So the Republicans don't want anything canceled at all. The vast disagreement on the topic explains uh, part of why it has been hard for the administration to decide how to proceed, especially with the midterm elections looming. CNBC was asking readers how they felt about the White House for giving $10,000 in student loan debt. Dozens of people wrote in, but here's what a few said. Caleb. Perkins, 29, a student, Dayton, Ohio. I will be uh, approximately $50,000 in debt by the time I graduate in December with my master's in social work from Ohio University. I'm a first generation college student who comes from very humble roots. My mother is a high school graduate. My father is a high school dropout but both of them are some of the hardest working I've ever known. I started my higher education at Sinclair Community College in Dayton, fortunately uh, getting substanti uh, substantial uh, scholarship from the school as well as a Pell Grant due to my family's income level. Eventually I graduated with an associate's in cyber security and computer forensics before transferring to Ohio University to pursue my bachelor's in criminal justice. I see student loans as one of those necessary evils. It's not that I wanted the debt. $10,000 in forgiveness would be substantial for me. Is it as much as I'd like to see? No but it's better than nothing and 20% off of my total, still quite a bit. So another student, Stephen Barrison, 
of San Antonio. I am writing from a perspective of a parent who funded two children undergraduate educations and a private liberal arts college and subsequently helped fund a master's degree program for one of them. We didn't take out any student loans. Instead, we looked at schools where we knew that the chance of fully funding their education could be met with our contribution and merit-based aid. Both the kids got accepted to a couple of schools where the merit aid package wouldn't be enough and we had some serious discussions along the disappointment from the kids when we collectively decided the schools were above our financial means. Forgiving student loans is a slap in the face to parents and students who save for college and selected schools where, you know, it was within their price range. But from what you said earlier in here, it really wasn't. The government should be promoting the idea of living within your means. I think this message has been entirely lost today. Well, the government is not really in the business to teach you how to live within your means. I mean, they have never done that. So I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. $10,000 would barely put a dent in what I owe. Kalia Willer a uh, partner at a law firm, Chicago. I am an attorney who owes $125,000 in student loans. That's after making consistent payments during the 10 years I've been out of school and paying $25,000 during the interest-free pause over the last two years. Prior to the pause, my required minimum payments was $1,800 per month. I know that as a partner at a law firm now, I make more than the average borrower and I feel buried in debt without options. I am like a new mom and I would like to be able to spend my little one's infant and toddler years at home with them, but I can't afford not to keep working I had to take out loans because I'm one of six children and my parents couldn't afford to pay for law school or to support my or to support me financially. Somebody's mowing the grass while I attended. Ten thousand dollars would barely put a dent in what I owe. I feel conflicted even writing this. There are other far worse than me. Yeah, there are many far worse. You work at a law firm, you're a lawyer. Uh, but this is my situation and I know I'm not alone. All right. So the last person said, cancel it all or do nothing. Aaron Bartlett, 42, a teacher in St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm, act, I'm absolutely crushed at the thought of only $10,000 being forgiven. I've been a K through 12 educator in Minnesota for 19 years, and I have about $50,000 left to pay off. This debt is crippling. I currently work uh, two part-time jobs in addition to my full-time job to make ends meet. I'm so tired of America being one of the only places in the world where education isn't free. If I could get all of my federal student loans canceled, I could save money to retire and I wouldn't need to work three jobs, cancel it all or do nothing. Well, y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think. Personally, I do believe it should be more than $10,000. You may not agree with me, but if the average person have $10,000 I, I think they can, I mean, $50,000 in debt as far as student loans are concerned, I think they need to bump that up a bit. I really do. You know, America, it's been a tough two years and it's going to be a tough three years when this year is all said and done. And there are a lot of people still trying to get back on track with their lives. It's, it's been a rough haul for America 
since 2019. And it's not getting easier. It's actually getting worse. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.